Hey there, what's up everyone? In this video, I wanna show you how to factory reset your iPhone 11 Pro Max. Hey there, my name's Sergio with Surge Tech, and in this channel, I do tech reviews and tutorials. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so now. Hit the bell to receive notifications on my future videos. There's gonna be links to all the information that I talk about in this video down below in the description. All right, let's get right to the video now. So the reason you may wanna do a factory reset is because maybe your phone is acting up, it's running kind of slow, your storage is full, and you just wanna erase everything from it. Maybe you have a password and you can't get into it, so, by doing the hard reset you'll also be able to bypass this lock screen also if maybe you're selling your phone to someone else you may want to wipe it clean before passing it on to that new person so let's get right into it I'm gonna show you two ways to factory reset it all right so first I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings and then we'll do it with the buttons in case you have a password so that you can still reset it so let's go into settings here in settings you will go to general and then here in general you will scroll down all the way to reset which will be towards the bottom and and then here the option that we're going to select is erase all content and settings if you have a password here it's going to ask you to confirm your password and then once you do that the reset process will begin all right so i'm going to show you the second way of doing it maybe you have a password on your phone and you can't get into it or maybe your phone is disabled after putting the password in wrong many times your phone can get disabled from one minute all the way up to the point where it won't even give you any time here it'll just be permanently disabled so if your iPhone is disabled or if you have a passcode on the screen, here is what we are going to do. You're going to need iTunes on your PC or Mac and we are going to need to connect the iPhone to that computer. So let's go ahead and connect it. So there we go, here we have iTunes. Like I said, we could do this on a PC or Mac, so it really doesn't matter as long as you have iTunes. Also, make sure you update iTunes to the latest version. Sometimes it doesn't work if you don't have the latest version of iTunes. Once your iPhone is connected to the computer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the lock power button until the phone powers off. Then once the phone powers off, we're gonna press the volume down and the power button and just continue to hold them both for about 10 seconds. Then we'll let go of them quickly and press both of them again and the iPhone will go into restore mode. All right, so let's go now. So volume up, volume down, power button, continue to hold the power button until the phone powers off. Once it powers off, press and hold the volume down button for about 10 seconds. So another five, four, three, two, one, let go and press them again. And there we go, the iPhone is in restore mode or DFU mode, whatever you wanna call it. And you should get this pop-up message on your iTunes, which will say restore or update. So you can select either or. If your iPhone is not on the latest iOS, it will automatically update it anyways. So go ahead and click update here. Here it says if your iPhone can't be updated, then it will be restored. So no problem, hit update. And then we're gonna get this message right here, which says iPhone software update. So hit next, hit I agree. And and it will take a few minutes because if you don't have the latest software iOS it's gonna download it as you can see right here it is downloading it so we're gonna have to wait a few minutes for it to completely download and then once it downloads the restore process will automatically begin on the iPhone however if the download takes uh, longer than 15 minutes your iPhone might get out of restore mode so you will have to follow these steps again to put it in restore mode once the iOS is downloaded so let's give it a few minutes for it to download and then I'll continue so so like I mentioned, once the software is downloaded, if your iPhone is still on restore mode, it will automatically continue the process and the software will be extracted and the new software that was downloaded will be reinstalled into the phone, erasing all of the old content on the device. So here we'll just have to wait till it completely finishes loading up and then after that the reset process will be complete.
All right, so as you can see, it is extracting the software and preparing the iPhone for the update now. So all we're gonna have to do is just wait till all of the um, loading bars load up completely and then on the iPhone and then the reset process will be complete. So let's give that a few minutes. All right, so the bar finished loading up here in the iPhone. There you go, and as you can see, this just popped up that says, welcome to your new iPhone. So that means that the iPhone was completely reset back to its factory condition. Uh, so I'm just gonna give it a couple more seconds for the bar to complete loading. And there you go, it has completely finished loading and the iPhone is reset back to its factory condition. Now all we have to do is just go through the activation steps here and get the iPhone set up. So that is how you completely reset your Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max. So that was two ways to factory reset it. Hope this video helped you out. Go ahead and please give it a like. It really helps me out. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, peace.